Hey, Barber Learn Recycling Strong. So hey, you guys, I found a really cool product I want to talk about. I think it's really innovative. So I even brought in my good friend, Cameron Hoffman. Hey, hey Camzilla. Yeah. We can't hardly hear him. That's why we don't like Cameron. <laughs> Keep him quiet, focused on what he's okay. doing. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to sit and go through a product. I'm going to have Greg introduce it a little bit, talk about it, why the importance of it, all that fun stuff. So Greg, Great. tell them all what we're up to. Well, my name's Greg. I'm with a company called CircaCore. We make a product that's called Ember. Ember is the world's first non-invasive hemoglobin tracker. And what it's used for is it allows you to take measurements with light through your finger. You use that data to build up a data set. That data set can help you train. Some of the things that we've found is the athletes we loan these devices to, they've been able to build all kinds of data. Right now we're taking a measurement. So on the top, he's got 16.3. Did you say loan the devices to, or they actually yeah, we had a couple buy the device? It's for sale now. Oh, so gotcha. It is available. We'll get right. to that too. All right. But that data basically allows them to build training plans. They can come back and understand how they're responding to elevation. They can learn and understand how the exercise intensity is impacting their hemoglobin concentration. Hemoglobin is the protein that carries oxygen. So the more hemoglobin you have, the more oxygen carrying potential you have. Mm -hmm. It's a very valuable tool for endurance. So if you have a lot of oxygen, right, you should survive longer. So, so I sleep in a hypoxico tent. Okay. Okay. So you're saying every night when I get out of that, I should come and try this out? I think it would be a great idea to understand the data. Mm -hmm. Data itself is valuable to understand how your body is responding. So sure. elevation in altitude tents, what you're doing is you're starving oxygen. You're right. encouraging the body to try and produce more red blood cells. Yep. With a tent, the behavior is much different than living full time at elevation. Amen. So that's something that you would be very interested in finding, right? Yeah. Um, we're very curious about those results when people come back as well. Is how many hours does it take to get that exposure to yeah. have that happen, right. and how frequently does it need to go? Yeah. Very so cool. it's a very good thing to do. All right. So we're taking some uh, data points, I think, right now on Camzilla. Yes. Before he goes to New Zealand. So at any time. Race. He can just take a his sensor off, it captures the measurement, it gives him a range, that range is set by your biological sex and your age. So when you sign up to create an account, we can give you a range, but you can also customize that. Every measurement you take, we also locate where you are on GPS. So we can tag and flag the elevation and altitude. Uh, that gives you a great historical you know, value back. Here's an example I can show you on this screen. This is an athlete that spent several weeks at sea level. On the side here, we're seeing how high they went in elevation. So each bubble is one week of time. We understand their baseline hemoglobin, and over time there's one, two, three, four, five, six weeks it takes until they hit about a max in their hemoglobin concentration. So this individual had two extra weeks exposing themselves to high altitude that maybe they didn't need to. That would save them money on cost for hotel, right. time for a team, all their racing, but they I also paid made... for the equipment. Exactly. So as soon as they come back, they go, well, now I have a race at sea level. How long does that gain last? You know, right. if you come out of a tent, how long do you have that that's going to work? So this individual realized one, two, three weeks later, they've already dropped back down to their baseline. So it's pretty exciting stuff. They can go in and actually go. It was just a couple days into that second or third week is probably my ultimate, you know, the best time to do that kind of racing. So it's a very fun uh, scenario. We're very excited about the feedback we're getting from people. It's really about the convenience and filling in all of those data points. I don't know if you've ever done your own blood work before, oh, yeah. but it might be once a year, twice a year, yeah. um, but you're really looking at a small snapshot. What we're trying to do is find a way for people to fill that snapshot with data. Yeah. yeah. So Cameron knows a little bit about this, obviously, on the bike testing while you're doing your VO2 max. How would this play into that or would it, you know? Well, this is different. Uh, VO2 max is, so yeah, we're, we're drawing blood though, right? At the same time we were doing that for... Yeah, but that, that was for lactic... Threshold, right? Yeah, for lactic acid draw. Build up. This isn't yeah. going to help with any of that. This is just going to help with our... No, this would help you kind of understand uh, maybe, maybe the duration you can hold because you've got better saturation of oxygen. Right. Or lack of saturation. Right. So this will give you a better way of understanding if you're ready for certain events, a different elevation, you're tired, you're overtrained, undertrained. Right. This will give you a little bit more data points that you don't get through doing maybe a, a one-time test, like a VO2 max or a lactate right. threshold test. Right. So where can they find the product at and uh, what questions should they be asking about this that we haven't asked? One of the great things is it's available on our website directly. So you can buy it there, it's available online now. It retails for $3.99 and that gives you this device. Uh, and a sensor, and it's portable, you take it anywhere you want. It's Bluetooth to a smartphone. Right now it's available on iOS devices running 8.2 or newer. Um, and what you do is you sign up, create an account, and we store the data for you. So if you lose your phone, you change phones, you can always download it, but that's optional. Um, with the device we have today, um, 
two different versions that are coming. So there's a, a basic model and a premium model. So over time, as a company, what we're doing is offering even more parameters. So today we're talking about the quantity of blood, right? This is, hemoglobin is really the quantity. The quality is saturation, so SpO2. That's another parameter we'll be offering in mm. the future as well, in addition to respiration rate and some others that come. But that's giving somebody a, a great way to take 30 seconds once a day and go, wow, look at this, I'm starting to build a picture of all these things and put it into that formula of, am I overtraining? Do I need more rest? How do I start answering those questions? And I think it's a great starting point to get those discussions. So Very as soon cool. as you get one of these devices, Tell your coach, talk to your teammates, really work out that problem solving and go, hey look, this device is not just giving me one number. It's trying to give me a number, help me display that data in a way to make sense of it. And it's really to spark that conversation, you know, get people going, am I training correctly? Am I overdoing it? Am I underdoing it? Where's my max? Okay, so I'm gonna ask a question. I know you guys get faced with probably don't, I don't know, but so I buy one of these devices, can I use it for my whole family? Or can you only use it for one person because you only have one profile, or do you just buy separate logins for each one of your right. family so members? The way it's designed is because one of the great things is that the first of day is when you're at the most stable state, right? So when you're in a laying down, they call mm -hmm. supine position, um, we have people recommended to take that. So really, if they keep one of these devices at their nightstand and get that, that's the best way to get a stable baseline. Sure. If you have a family, you want to share it around, the device works, you download the app free, you can use it on whoever you want. Got so you. you just create your own account and try and store that data. So. Very cool. Yes, right. it's exciting. That's very exciting. Thanks for uh, thanks for sharing all that with all right. us, and thanks for bringing that to us. If you guys aren't out there riding your bikes, get out there. Get off the couch. Get riding. Have a great day. Thanks for watching this segment. If you have any questions, make sure you're making them below. Go follow the blog. Get involved with everybody. Ask questions. If you don't ask questions, we can't give you answers. These guys will have the link to that, and they'll get back to you. Once again, keep out there. Keep riding your bike. Have fun.